everyone. Welcome, everyone. I'm Lisa Bidwin, Executive Director of the New Hampshire Council of Churches. This is the third installment of Church Insights, Divine and Shine, a very short video series of the Council. It's meant to build fellowship amongst our members. Today's video is with Episcopal Deacon Chris Potter, who serves as the president of the New Hampshire Council of Churches. Let's just jump into our three questions. Can you please tell us how you shine God's inclusive love in your ministry? Um, hey, Lisa, thanks for uh, having me on here. Um, well, of course, it's it's all God, God's self that shines through. But I think that space is the council. The Council of Churches is a place for everyone um, where we celebrate um, everyone's uniqueness, um, the, the beauty of creation, both the environment and people. Um, and a big part of what we do is advocacy to try to make, um, you know, our community a place where everyone can flourish. Um, and then in the process of that, um, letting everyone know that <clears throat> they can have a relationship with God and a place in the church. Thank you. So question number two, Chris, is could you please tell us a moment when you publicly witnessed for or saw an inspiring public witness for God's love? Yeah, so um, at the start of the legislative term in 2022, um, we, we organized some clergy to go protest and, um, and greet the legislators as they walked into the first day of session. Um, and we, we had a rally, we had maybe like 15 or so clergy there. And, and one of them grabs the mic and uh, starts talking about housing. Because <laughs> it was like, here's this issue that affects everyone. Uh, we know there's so many New Hampshire people who are on tight budgets. It, it's related to health and education and all these other aspects. And um, and that was that was the ministry of of those faith leaders to make the whole community a place where everyone could flourish. Lovely, wonderful. Um, final question for today is: Tell us about your funniest moment um, serving uh, serving the church. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I, from the pulpit, I don't have a lot of really funny moments. There's there's some embarrassing ones, <laughs> maybe some inspiring ones. But um, in the Episcopal Church, after the sermon is the Nicene Creed. But then uh, soon after that, the the passing of the peace, which I love because it's it's when everyone's reconciled. There's no conflicts among anyone. Everyone makes peace before going into giving an offering to God and then having communion, um, which unites unites us to each other and, and to God. So the sooner I can get out of the pulpit, <laughs> the, the better, the, the better it is for the, the unity and ministry of the church. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> and, and, and fundamentally, of course, peace is what God's love um wants for us all to have. So that's fantastic. I want to thank you so much, Chris, for helping the council in this quick, creative way to learn a bit about each other and work building beloved community. I hope all of you have a very blessed day. And and that we'll see you October 19th for the Grand oh. State Jubilee. Yes. Will you say that one more time, Chris, please? October 19th, in person, Granite State Jubilee, bringing the, the church together bringing at United at Wesley United Methodist Church in Concord, New Hampshire. Thank you.